Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we started learning about uh, masking in transformer model. And we mainly learned about how we mask encoder attentions. And uh, we learned about like uh, how we mask uh, a single head attention, but we didn't talk about multi-headed attention. So in this video, we will focus on that and then we go further in learning about uh, decoder attention masking, okay? First of all, there was a minor mistake uh, when we were doing it for a batch processing. So in that case, there should not be the port dimension because this uh, correspond to the number of heads. That's why if we run it, we see that uh, the attentions are broadcasted to uh, like uh, more than uh, one head. So if we run it, we will uh, look it a bit more carefully this time. So in general, it should be just, uh, we have uh, two uh, inputs. So we have attention scores for uh, two uh, cross sequence length, cross sequence length. Whereas when we apply the attention mask, it is broadcasted to uh, four tensors, you see, and which is not correct. So the correct way of doing it is like, uh, we don't add this uh, four dimension here, then it won't broadcast. So if we run it again, it will be now correct. So now you see the first one, uh, this is our uh, attention scores. And when we apply the masking, we can see here we have the mask. So in the first input, we have three mask tokens. If we see here, and the second input, we have two mask tokens is here okay now to to uh, extend it to multi-headed we don't need to do anything so let us say we have two heads then in that case the attention scores would be like this so batch size cross number of heads cross sequence length cross sequence length and if we try to apply it it will uh, broadcast it okay so now if we run it it will uh, work properly now it will be like uh, this is our first head and this is our first head first input where we have three uh, tokens are masked and in the second input we have two token masked and it's the same for second head as well so in the second head the first input is uh, three tokens masked and uh, the second input is two token masked so to extend it uh, in multi-head it is straightforward you don't need to do anything so it is like simply uh, you properly create the mask and then it will work uh, out of the box okay next let us look at how we create uh, attention mask for decoder so as we have seen in the introductory video that uh, to create the subsequent mask or look ahead mask we need to have a square attention mask okay so that it will it will be the same as uh, the attention score which will be like sequence cross sequence length and uh, when we try to apply the masking it should be like uh, each and every uh, location or each and every position should be attended according to the mask okay so first we will create a square matrix of ones and then we will use this uh, torch dot triangular upper matrix which will be simply like it will uh, keep the part of matrix as one and then the below part would be zeros that's what we want so that at any particular time it will be able to attend just one token okay so let us dive in and start coding first let us import uh, torch and then let us create a simple target tensor so we will start with a simple one input and then we will extend it for further uh, batch processing okay let us say we have one two three we have three real tokens and two bad tokens okay now let us create a shape or we need to have the sequence length pre, uh, to create a square matrix so let us call sequence length is equal to target dot shape and let us uh, say it's zero or we can say minus one will be the last dimension and let us create a tensor once let us call it once tensor 
which will be simply like torch dot once and let us create a mask shape what we want to have the shape of the mask and that will be simply like a tuple that will be one cross sequence length cross sequence let us pass it to this now let us print uh, how this once tensor looks like okay i'll just run and see it so if you look at uh, it it's simply like uh, five cross five square matrix but all of them are ones now we will use a uh, trying uh, upper triangle uh, method so it will give us like uh, let us say we pass the uh, diagonal zero then it will simply keep this uh, upper matrix and then convert the remaining into zeros and that's what we want so let us first uh, pass it through uh, the triangular upper matrix or triangular upper method okay so let us call it five tensor and let us call it torch dot five and what we need is we need to pass one tensor first let us print how it looks like print five tensor okay so let us run again and see it now you see uh, we have uh, this is the default like the diagonal will be zero and uh, anything other or anything upper it is uh, same left as it is and anything below that it will be all zeros okay and now we will simply pass the diagonal variable to one okay so default is zero so it is start with uh, this and if we say one now it will be starting from here okay so it will be this will be zeros as well that's what we want because we want the first uh, 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 first row should have one element enabled in the second row we should have two uh, elements enabled and so on okay so that's why we pass here diagonal is equal to one okay let us run and see it again so now you see it starts from here and that's what we want so another important thing that we need to uh, look at it is like uh, if we have pad tokens like in this case we have two pad tokens and if we apply this as a as a final mask it will attend those as well and we don't want so in 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 general what it should be is like these this and this should be one because we don't want the pad tokens to be attended okay so let us do that part as well so we have this and to do that we simply uh, create a target mask which is simply like let us call target mask is equal to um we will simply do is uh, we will simply use the same trick so we will say target is equal is equal to pad we haven't created pad so we'll let us create pad is equal to zero okay so now let us print target mask as well now let us see so now this is like uh, false false true true so we can simply say the same thing as earlier we'll simply call Touch dot type and we can simply call it to int 16 okay and we need to unspeed this as well minus two now I'll just run again and see it so now you see we have uh, initial three real tokens and then we have to padded tokens now what we will simply do is we will apply a our operation on these two so that it will simply so if you look carefully we need to just uh, add here once and if we apply our operation it will apply on all the rows and it will simply fill these two as well as once okay so let us do that simply so what we will do is we will call 
subsequent mask is equal to private tensor or target mask and that's our final subsequent mask okay now let us print that as well print subsequent mask now let us run and see the final mask okay so it complains because uh, we didn't convert uh, our triangular tensor to a uh, proper data type so we can simply call type and then we can pass it uh, to torch dot 16 here as well now it should be fine let us run so now if you look carefully we have the correct mask like the three tokens this this and this now we have uh, correct padding so it it won't allow it to be attended okay now to apply it on our tension score we simply create our dummy attention score and apply on it so let us do that so let us say attention save is equal to so let us say we are working with a single head so we will create one cross sequence length cross sequence length and let us say tension score is equal to torch dot brand and we pause simply attention Possibly attention tape and to apply the masking we will simply use mask fill method okay so let us do that so attention score mask is equal to attention score dot mask fill and what we do is simply call subsequent mask is equal is equal to one and it needs a value it will pass very high negative value minus one e to the power nine. Now let us print this as well. Print. So now let us run and see the masked tension. So here it is. Now if you look carefully, so first row we have only one element uh, enabled and remaining our mask and the second row we have only two elements enabled and remaining are masked in the third we have three elements enabled and the remaining is mask and here you can see like we are not attending the mask uh, or the pad tokens at all okay as it is required so uh, in this video we will stop here in the next video we will start learning about uh, how to apply this in our attention uh, self attention module that we created in our earlier videos that will be very simple so we will learn that part in the next video so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next